Hello dear learners, I am Professor Devraj Goyal from the CIET and CRT New Delhi. Today we will focus on thinking scenario of teacher educators. It is under the course Perspectives, Issues and Research in Teacher Education. Let us delineate the objectives. After going through this module, the learners will be able to identify the various thinking patterns and study the location of a person on the selected thinking continuum. Let us uh, go on to the introduction. The conception of any organism demands the coexistence of pran and matter, whereas its existence demands communication with the self and the rest, hence the genesis of thinking. Thinking is the process of establishing communication. Thinking develops from temporary to permanent, transductive to inductive, and inductive to deductive. Thinking like a helical spiral goes on round the clock, neither we know its genesis nor terminus. It seems that we have enslaved ourselves to thinking. Very often we go on thinking recursively, endlessly. Many a thinking continuums are on the fore from most undesired to highly desirable. The emerging question is how to realize healthy thinking. With the present day modernization and smartness, many a problems are on the fore such as stress and strain, anxiety and tension, repression and depression, headache and blood pressure, compulsive obsessive neurosis and recursion, down syndromes in the prime of life, lost childhood, bewildered youth and restless aged. It is time that we find out where we are on the thinking continuum, feeling faculty and action domain. Right from the poor to capitalists, the sick to doctors, learners to teachers, roads, buildings, machines, products to the engineers, reality to the actors, peons to the politicians, stalls to the malls, springs to the rivers, bays and the oceans, all are unhealthy, self is sick and neighbors are sick. What is, the, what is the prognosis? India is a land of saints, scientists and artists, engineers and technocrats, producers and businessmen, dealers and auditors, public and politicians, constructivists and consumers, nature and researchers, with all ifs and buts. India is a land of peace and harmony. Now it is turning into a land of modernization, smart people, smart cities, smart villages, smart malls, digital India, automated offices, cashless transaction and booming universities. India has renewed and is renewing. There is an inherent thinking that whatsoever we do is perfect, but there is no end to perfection. What is the relative role of service cadre and polity? How is the relationship of state, society and education? Earlier the society was governing the society, then the state started governing the society. Now the economy is overarching both the state and society. Where is education? Education is bewildered in search of its identity. Education is the most neglected sector. Its face validity is observed in terms of foundation stones. How much of GDP is being invested on education and research? Why the new education policy is in the dormant state? Why, who is accountable? The wild thinking. Wild thinking is the worst disease of the 21st century. How to control thinking? How to regulate thinking? How to perfect thinking? How to overpower wild aspiration? How to overpower excessive hunger of power? How to realize decent, meaningful, valuable, fruitful thinking? How to learn to live independently? How to realize the resonating mind? How to reason cause and effect relation? Reason is re as own. Knowledge, feelings and skills. Wherein no knowledge is ultimate, no feelings are final, no skills are perfect. Irrespective of whether we are artists or scientists producers or consumers, 
constructivist or commercial, Raja or Parja, public or politician, then the question is how to establish the testimony of reason, the thinking, very difficult but not impossible. But let us shed off the notion that my th thinking is ultimate, my word is the last word. Let us learn to socialize with the mind, observing ourselves and social identity. Very difficult a proposition, isn't it? Heart and brain entrainment ratio. Heart and brain entrainment ratio demands an equation between adrenaline and dopamine. Heart and brain entrainment ratio ought to be healthy to realize full, meaningful, happy, healthy, hilarious and resonating life. Liberated thinking is the key to resonating laughter and blissful smile. Wish we could sustain our laughter and smiles. When we are in a happy, healthy and resonating state, then the secretion of dopamine in the brain and adrenaline from the adrenal glands is in the optimum quantum and equation representing the entrainment of heart and brain, whereas imbalances or inequations in the fluctuation of the state of inequation of dopamine and adrenaline can create imbalances. Here are the chemical structures of dopamine and adrenaline. The way we hold a thing immediately affects our brain. The way a child holds a pencil or pen and presses it for producing certain schemas has immediate direct bearing on the nerve cells and vice versa. Healthy thinking emerges out of healthy heart and brain entrainment ratio and healthy psychomotor relations, healthy determination and action wherein the soul governs, intent and approach of the present module. Despite all predicaments, education is the most neglected sector of India. Still we have all hopes with education. It is education and education only which can bewitch the minds and guide the nation. Let us learn to culture and respect education. The intent of the present module is to study the location of present and prospective teacher educators on the selected thinking continuums, teacher educators, education doctors, education doctoral scholars and amid students of DAVV that is Devi Ahilya Vishwavidyalaya Indore, a total of 42 are the subjects of the study. A scale on scaling thinking was constructed by the investigators. It was tried out on the teacher educators online and offline. The emerging thinking scale is constituted of 58 thinking continuums on 5 points. The data were analyzed through frequencies of the respondent against the 5 point scale thinking continuum wise. The respondents who registered their responses below the average point were identified for counseling therapy. Here is the status of the teacher educators on the 58 thinking continuums which flow from initial point to final point, depressive to booming, negative to positive, recursive final, polar neutral, egocentric to ethnocentric, obsessive to final, partistic to holistic, ultra-modern to civilized, traditional to modern, pessimistic to optimistic, complex to simple, rigid to considerate, unsocial to social, dependent, independent, conservative, broad-minded, determination, action, illogical, logical, propositional, factual, non-imaginative, imaginative, stereotype, pioneer, diffident, confident, hypothetical, theoretical, stressful, relaxed, deviant, focused, rigid, flexible, closed, open, isolated, resonating, sad, happy, repressive, expressive, disconnecting, connecting, destructive, constructive, customary, innovative, engrossed, resolved, chaos, peace, disturbed, at ease, sequential, holistic, irrational, rational, inductive, deductive, divergent thinking, convergent thinking, conservative thinking, transcendental thinking, confined, free, starving, striving, zooming out, zooming in, recursive thinking, resolved thinking, local thinking, global thinking, psychoneurotic thinking, 
नॉर्मल थिंकिंग रा राइप एम्बिगुअस लुसिड कंडीशन लिबरेटेड फ्यूटाइल फ्रूटफुल स्टॉमी काम टर्बुलेंट सीरीन अनकंट्रोल थिंकिंग कंट्रोल थिंकिंग बायस्ड न्यूट्रल यूनिवेरिएट मल्टीवेरिएट स्कैटर्ड कंसनट्रेटेड कनिंग इनोसेंट पेरीफिरल इंट्यूटिव इट इज एविडेंट फ्रॉम टेबल दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द रेस्पोंडेंट्स हैव बिन फाउंड टू बी ऑन द अबव एवरेज पॉइंट्स ऑन द थिंकिंग कॉन्टीन्यूम्स और एल्स ऑन द एवरेज सम ऑफ द रेस्पोंडेंट्स हैव बिन फाउंड टू बी ऑन द बिलो एवरेज पॉइंट्स टीचिंग एज ए प्रोफेशन डिमांड्स दैट वी टीचर्स एंड टीचर एजुकेटर्स हैव एक्सलेंट रीजनिंग थिंकिंग एंड रिलेशनशिप प्रोफाइल्स सो देर इज अ नीड टू बी मोर सेंसिटिव टूवर्ड्स आवर थिंकिंग पैटर्नस सेल्फ ड्रिवन ड्राइव्स कैन फैसिलिटेट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ थिंकिंग पैटर्नस इन द डिजायरेबल डायरेक्शंस वेयर एवर इफ नीड बी वी मे कोर्स एंड री कोर्स टू सीकिंग गाइडेंस एंड काउंसलिंग ना द प्रोग्रेसिव टेबल प्रेजेंट्स द ओवरऑल प्रोफाइल ऑफ द फोर्टी टू टीचर एजुकेटर्स ऑन दीज फिफ्टी टू कॉन्टीन्यूम्स एंड इट इज एविडेंट फ्रॉम दिस टेबल दैट द थिंकिंग स्कोर्स रेंज फ्रॉम फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सेवन टू परसेंट टू नाइन्टी परसेंट द मीडियन इज टू ट्वेंटी मीन इज टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वेर एज मोड इज टू थर्टी पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स द स्कोर्स ऑफ द टीचर एजुकेटर्स ऑन थिंकिंग कॉन्टीन्यूम रेंज फ्रॉम वन A cursory look at the data distribution reveals that it is more or less a normal distribution. The teaching profession demands that the thinking patterns of the teaching faculty are highly crystallized and are towards the positive side of the continuum. Education, by virtue of its discipline, cannot compromise with the normal distribution. More so, in the realm of thinking. and reasoning establishing cause and effect relation so there is a need to diagnose and ameliorate the various thinking patterns now let us try to conclude the concern is why should even a single organism be low on thinking continuum we have to be serene rather than turbulent calm rather than stormy expressive and booming rather than depressive and repressive positive than negative final and decisive rather than recursive and lurking neutral rather than polar modern rather than primitive cultured rather than ultra mode socio centric and ethnocentric rather than self centric and egocentric sharp and decisive rather than blunt and obsessive holistic rather than atomistic optimistic rather than pessimistic happy rather than sad simple rather than complex considerate rather than rigid social rather than unsocial independent rather than dependent broad minded rather than conservative determined and active rather than idealistic and passive logical rather than irrational factual and theoretical rather than hypothetical and propositional creative rather than stereotyped pioneer than copier confident rather than diffident relaxed rather than stressful focused rather than deviant flexible rather than rigid open rather than closed resonating rather than isolated constructive and connective rather than destructive and disruptive innovative rather than customary resolved rather than engrossed peaceful rather than disordered at ease rather than disturbed zooming out and in transcending rather than merely conservative free rather than confined striving rather than starving resolved rather than recursive global and local normal rather than psychoneurotic ripe rather than raw lucid than ambiguous fruitful than futile multivariate and controlled thinkers rather than univariate and swayed innocent rather than cunning and intuitive rather than peripheral but how to realize such a state 
thinking regulators demand healthy neurons and their interconnections spiritual control that is sadhana mental control and control on the motor muscles simple living and high thinking can overpower passions possessions and obsessions mind has a tendency of wandering control on the mind demands inner control not to be swayed away by any attraction and passion nothing can deviate a person with full inner control let us be masters of our minds and action we owe an explanation to every bit of our thinking and action to the self and the rest let the healthy thinking prevail thank you